Hi, Frederica. Let's take a look at this essay that we've written for us today. Um, the topic is, research indicates that the characteristics we are born with have much more influence on our personality and development than any experience we may have in life. Which do you consider to be a major influence? Okay, so it sounds like, to what extent do you agree or disagree? Um, do you believe that experiences, or it's kind of like a nature versus nurture argument here. All right, so let's see um, what you wrote. Before we do that, I'm curious as to where you got this topic. Um, it, just because of the wording of it, it doesn't feel like a topic that um, would be an official IELTS essay. But, okay, I mean, let's just uh, read what you wrote and um, see what happened. Okay. As we become adults, we often wonder what the factors, you don't want the R here, we often wonder what the factors that most affected our personality when we were younger are. This is because it's not a direct question, it's an indirect question. And so um, the verb goes at the end. It's, it's sentence form, essentially. Some people argue that early experiences play a major role regarding the formation process of our interests and attitudes, while for others the latter depends more largely on the features we were born with. This essay agrees with the first statement. Okay, fine. As shown by plenty of studies. I'm not really crazy about that word plenty of. It feels a little informal. It certainly doesn't feel academic. So I would uh, rephrase that. Just to something rather simple, like numerous, would have been good. So, as shown by numerous studies, at an early age, people are extremely sensitive, not sensible, to unusual events by which young individuals may be shocked. For instance, most of our insecurities come from scary situations we experienced as a child. Okay, same thing with scary. Um, it's more, um, more formal, more academic to say something like frightening than scary. Um, this applies in the same way to every other aspect of our behavior. For example, if someone has great self-esteem without the A here, that means they probably had a relaxed childhood. For these reasons, I believe the environment we live in uh, at the first stages of our life is crucial regarding the development of our personality. Okay, fine. Nevertheless, our life, especially as a child, is greatly affected by our traits as they shape the way we see ourselves as well as... Mm, as well as doesn't work here. Let's try it again. Um, they shape the way we see ourselves. Uh, you could have done this. Um, in addition to determining our strengths and weaknesses, I assume that you wanted to avoid and here. You didn't have to. You could have put an and. But if you wanted to, um, you could have just said in addition to determining ing and make sure you spell strengths correctly. Oh, <laughs> look at that. In addition to this, well, then you could have changed that one. That's pretty easy. Furthermore, additionally, um, what is more, oh, that would have been okay. We are all well aware of the fact that our interests often relate to the fields uh, in which we are more comfortable. Mm, I'm, I'm comfortable in this field. All right, fine. Thus, I admit there is a considerably close correlation between what we enjoy the most and our body characteristics. Our body characteristics? I don't know about that. Um... Now, here's the problem with this paragraph. It's underdeveloped. Um, it's, it's short in terms of content. If you look at it, it's really just two sentences long. You haven't given us any examples. You haven't given us any illustration or any, um, um, any sort of extension of your ideas. So um, you talk about this here. You say it's greatly affected by our, our traits, but you never tell us what kind of traits? Like, give us an example of a trait that would uh, determine our strengths and weaknesses, okay? And um, and then here, too. I mean, maybe, you know, you, you need to just clarify this because nobody is in your mind and nobody can understand what things you're actually thinking of. So you need to spell it out for your reader. Um, you know, say that somebody who is extremely tall may find themselves more interested in basketball because they may have some sort of a, um, I don't know, a competitive advantage. Okay, so you need to spell this out for your reader. You need to make it clear. Okay, 
Um, and I don't like body characteristics. I think physical characteristics would have been better. Um, but I also don't see the reason why you need to limit it just to physical characteristics. It's also um, other things that aren't necessarily physical. I mean, maybe somebody who has a good voice uh, finds themselves um, enjoying music more and singing and, and things like that. So uh, I wouldn't limit it to this. But like I said, the important thing to remember here is that it's underdeveloped. It's um, it's uh, It just needs more more language, more ideas to be considered like a fully developed paragraph. Okay, in conclusion, this essay agrees that both our traits and experiences shape our interest in attitude as adults. However, I see what really counts in life is practice. Hmm. Not I see, but I believe what counts in life is practice and experiences. I think this needs to be a C here, not an S. Which are the ultimate factors on which our personality depends. All right, that's lovely. Uh, Federico, you've done a really nice essay uh, in general. Um, for me, the weakest point here was this paragraph as it was underdeveloped, but I think I've explained that to you in considerable detail. Um, other than that, it's lovely. You have a lot of nice v grammar, really well done. Um, the coherence and cohesion aspect of this are also well controlled. Uh, the other thing that I wanted you to work on a little bit here is your vocabulary, as there were a couple of places where it was not appropriate um, academic language, and um, and of course it's the, the grammar. There's some areas where the grammar needs a little work, so that is um, what you need to work on here. Okay. So thanks for sending in another essay. I look forward to seeing more. Perhaps you might want to sign up for um, the essay package um, so you can get a variety of essays from us as well as some task ones too because I'd like to see what you're doing with task one. So um, let's see if that's something you can do and I look forward to seeing more of your work in the future.